The Samsung Galaxy S26 might be the first model that you want with an Exynos chipset. And that might come as a surprise to you, but here's why. See, we already have reports that the newest generation of Snapdragon chips are overheating and there's issues with thermal management. See, in the past, Snapdragon chipsets have always been the best option for the most number of people. They've always been the most efficient with the least amount of heat and the best overall performance. Manufacturers continue to push the performance envelope of mobile devices, but we really don't see much in the way of pushing for increased overall efficiency or usability in our devices. This issue is somewhat compounded by the fact that Samsung uses Snapdragon 4 Galaxy chipsets in all of their mobile devices. These chipsets are just Snapdragon base SoCs with slightly higher clock speeds, which in a time where we're running into thermal issues might not be the best choice for everyone. A great example of this shift is the move away from Snapdragon to Dimensity chipsets that we see with some Chinese OEMs like Vivo and even Oppo in some circumstances. Historically, Qualcomm's Spectra line of ISPs or image signal processors have been the best, but now in some of the best camera phones that we're seeing on the market, they're not using Snapdragon or Qualcomm chipsets anymore. While it's true that much of the success of these Chinese OEMs in the field of mobile photography comes from custom hardware solutions, it goes without saying that in 2025 and 2026 soon, you no longer need to have a Snapdragon chipset in order to have premium or flagship performance in a mobile device. Now, one area that Qualcomm still has a unique and definite advantage is their modems, but there's really a simple explanation for that. And that really comes down to the fact that Qualcomm does more than make mobile SoCs. See, along with mobile SoCs, Qualcomm also manufactures a lot of the networking hardware and infrastructure that's rolled out into different markets. So even though the mobile networking space in most Western countries is still dominated by Nokia and Ericsson, it's still a competitive advantage that Qualcomm is even a player in this space, as well as the manufacture of modems and SoCs. I think it's great that we have so much competition in the mobile SoC space. In the past, the fact that it was all dominated by Qualcomm really led to kind of stagnation in performance and just kind of overall competitiveness in the market. This also is at a time when manufacturers have reported that Qualcomm's newest generation of flagship SoC is going up in price again. And with the continuous increase and inflation of the price of Qualcomm SoCs, it's no wonder that Samsung is considering using their in-house Exynos brand for more markets. Any place that Samsung can save money gives them the opportunity to hopefully do things like upgrade the cameras on the S26 or S27 series because they're gonna be able to save more money. Now, personally, I don't really care about the brand of SoC in my mobile device. I care more about companies giving me a competitive camera user experience because I use the cameras for videos such as this and more and more of my jobs are asking me to shoot on mobile. But genuinely, I'm really curious about what you guys think. Do you care that much about the brand of chip in your smartphone? Do you care about the end user experience or do you care about things like connectivity and modem? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys like this style of video where I discuss a topic in depth or a deep dive while I'm going through my daily life here in Vietnam, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Peace.